All right, ball joints are in. Wow. So these guys just bolt on. I, I hope I got this right. This is what the picture looked like in the little instructions. So little booty, little thing on the bottom, that on the top, bolts, etc. So it's there. And then the bottom, we just use this tool, uh, which basically this just goes over the, the dill mill like this and then this guy basically sits on this and as this goes up it presses it in um nothing really all that fancy there but it worked and uh we are ready to get our cat that's the wrong one though that's the driver's side so we got to get up and get the other one out of the out of the attic and get it down here but we are moving right along Bam! <laughs> so, so that's it right there. Oh yeah, we got stopping power. So we had these little piddly guys um, to begin with, and we had drums on the back. Now we have these big ass Mustang GT disc brakes in the back, which are probably about 11, 11 and a half inches, I'd guess and corvette uh c5 like 13 inch uh dual piston in the front so we should have significantly and uh braided steel lines so we should have significantly more mo better stopping power uh to get these guys on it's just it was really simple actually just dropped it onto the uh dropped this bottom one on put the castle on it in and then lowered it down I could jack it up and guide the upper guy in there. And then it was just a matter of, you know, snugging those guys down and tightening, uh, putting the cotter pins in and hooking the brake line back up. So, a lot of homies. Um, man, it looks like a rat. <laughs> got, got to this box right there. It's, it's rough days in the hood here lately. <laughs> These guys half-assed tried to put this thing together. It's like literally just threw it. Maybe it fell out of there. I don't know. Maybe it was in there. This is just laying on top of my receipt. Uh, what else? What else? Let's hope these fit. These are the fronts, obviously, since you guys already saw me check the rears. Will they fit? It's a big question, man. If they fit, that would just be wonderful. That would just be swell. Uh, we're still waiting on tires. I think the tires showed up today too, but I was out running around. My wife, you know, we love the animals. My wife saved a little dove, what do you call it? Baby bird? I don't know if there's a word for baby birds. I guess there's baby birds. So we had to drive all the way like an hour to some kind of animal sanctuary to uh, drop the bird off. And uh, yeah, so. The UPS guy showed up, and because those are heavy, and if we're not here, and you can just say we're, we're not here, then they don't leave them at the gate. So that's just the way it goes sometimes. You guys can't really see what I'm doing. Not that it really matters too much, but we're up, y'all. We're up, y'all. It's a bad angle. I'm the king of bad angles. Okay. So we're up here. I really, I'm really liking these brakes. So of course, yesterday when I went to, I did this, wrapped it up. So it'll be enough to be an episode. Just one side, the other side's obviously just do what you do on this side, right? Times two, but it's never, not, not, not ever that easy. So the, uh, the brake, stupid brake, stupid little brake thingy that goes into the soft lines. Uh, well, it. it completely stripped out so I'm gonna have to replace that line over there but you guys don't care about that don't want to see it don't have to see it just fit just fit two for two come on I don't think that's a win I mean it's like a pretty sure it's hitting the rotor let's put let's put a couple lug nuts
good news is I think it's just barely rubbing, so we might just get away with like a, uh, just like a one eighth spacer uh, back there, like like a five mil. You don't even need a ten mil. Uh, it will be interesting to see where these land inside of. So we'll need to figure out where these guys land inside the well well. It looks, it looks pretty good. Looks like we're in there enough. And uh, yeah, and where are the tires? So the tires will be uh, 205, 55, uh, 17s. These are the front, obviously a 17. We actually have quite a bit of distance around the back of this caliper. It's just hitting the face base of it so uh, we'll get some spacers ordered up uh, I'll do it right now and uh, yeah but that's not bad I think it's still a good look so up front we have that kind of thing going on and in the back we got you know the same kind of I like it so kind of period correct Kind of vintage -y look it's like uh maybe if you look at them you don't even realize they're wheels you know maybe you just think like yeah some kind of crappy ass metal hubcap or something and uh yeah i think it, it'll fulfill the look we were going for the best we could so the whole thing total was like 500 bucks uh for four wheels which wasn't too bad like i said this 17s from Ventiques uh we're gonna be like 240 each so that would have been you know, almost almost 500 bucks uh, just for two. And then we have to get the backs redone because those ones didn't fit. So, hey, it looks like we got a, uh, a good solution to our problem. But I'm rambling now, so I got a brake line to pull out and fix, which should be a lot of fun, and uh, finish getting this side over here uh, done up. So you guys can see where that turbo sits up in there. That's all I'm really worried about. But as that tire comes around there, it kind of radiuses. So hopefully all that clears. It's not, I did have a shield. I built a shield, although I'm not a good sheet metal worker guy. I kind of have a shield that I can pop rivet in there that covers all that up, um, which wouldn't be probably a bad thing to put in there anyway. But uh, yeah, so wheels look like they're going to be a go. Just figured I'd show you this real quick. You wondered probably, like, well, how bad was it rubbing? So you can see, can you see, can you see, that's it, right, yeah, there's just a bit of a high spot right there, like a little burr on the caliper, probably was dropped, I'm sure, when they went to, you know, rebuild these, it probably been powder coated, I'm sure they're just remanufactured, or not remanufactured, yeah, remanufactured, that's probably the word I'm looking for, and uh, you can see on the back of the wheel, just a little bit right through here a little bit here so that's it just a little rubby a little rubby rubs so we ordered up that um a quarter inch wheel spacer and that should give us all the clearance in the world which I wanted to push them out just a little bit anyway. I want to get them kind of as far out as we can in the wheel well. That way I won't have to worry about, worry less about things rubbing hopefully when they get in there. So uh, yeah, well, uh, still waiting on tires to show up. I thought they'd show up today, they didn't. But uh, we got the back tires already. Uh, some big 255 uh, Mickey Thompson street tires and the front ones we're waiting on, the 17 inchers. And as soon as they show up, we'll take those guys to uh where are we gonna take them we're gonna take them to tire and brake national tire and brake does that sound right something like that but they uh did my last set they did it pretty good pretty cheap and uh yeah so i'll throw that in the video and we'll edit it all together like magic and stuff and i gotta still do this whole other assembly right down y'all so i guess i can get to that <laughs> 